Hello again. Today I will talk about reports reading system of Ultimate Tribal Vars Bot. Let's begin from the settings. Uh, I think that those levels are self-explanatory. You can turn that option on and set proper interval. Uh, here you have the option reports per page. Reports per page. Uh, it tells you how many reports will be listed in list view. I will make it higher to like 500. And then I will refresh again. As you can see, there is more reports listed on one page. You can go to the next page and so on. Uh, but I really set 200 because it works fast. And there is another option. You can remove uh, reports uh, automatically. Uh, which are older than days, you can put their values, appropriate values. Uh, there are also exceptions, uh, but will not remove a uh, report which is important or has user notes. You can set those, uh, those two options for each report, I will show you later. Now I will talk about the uh, way how the reports reading works. Uh, at the fifth time, when you run the bot and when you turn on that fun function, the bot will start with all the all the reports uh, from those pages. So for me, it will be a very very long journey because I have a lot of pages, a lot of re reports in here because I am constantly farming, mm, uh, always active. Mm. So. At the first time, bot will load all reports which are available in here, and it will store it in its database. Uh, game reports bin. This is a database for reports, bot reports. Mm. And then bot will be waiting uh, interval for next uh, reports reading, as you can see here in task three. Mm. And next time, when bot starts reading reports, it will uh, look only for the new ones, but not new with the new word in here. But bot means uh, new report for bot means that uh, bot does not have that report in its database. So if uh, you simply read uh, the bot uh, the report in that way as I did here. So this report is still new for bot because bot does not have it in its database in here. So you can you, you can uh, read them with no uh, and be not afraid uh, that bot will skip uh, these reports uh, which was read by you. Uh, and after uh, bot read that page, he will proceed to the second page. And if on that page there will be no reports, no new reports for bot, new for bot, it means, like I said before, if bot does not contain that report in its database. So if there will be no reports, no new reports, bot count this page as one. Then he will proceed to the second page, to the third page, and it will count this page because there are new, there are no new reports too. It will count to three, to two, and bot simply uh, will count to five that kind of pages with no r new reports. And once bot uh, reach uh, five page, which uh, this one will be. Uh, this is a five page, fifth page, which does not have new reports, but stop uh, reading reports and we we'll wait again uh, the next interval, uh, which you said here. So five pages uh, with no new reports for bot, bot stops reading and it will wait interval to the next reading. Uh, this is how uh, reports reading work. Now uh, I will uh, tell you something about uh, filters. 
in here and options. Uh, here you have preview for uh, report. Um, there are all kind of informations uh, which appears on that pages, uh, and here you have uh, filters. This is a basic filters, but uh, here you can filter uh, those reports which was read. As you can see, uh, new mark is a green color, and it is in here. This is a new one. Mm, mark. Uh, easy way to make uh, those reports uh, as red. Uh, red is a uh, simply select it by, as you can see, when I move my mouse up, uh, the report is changing on the right side. And uh, in the same way, you can just simply put them as they are read, but it only works in uh, from the down to up, uh, not not uh, otherwise. Uh, okay, uh, this is how you can make uh, that those reports are read. However, uh, what I do, what I really usually do, if I have uh, Let's for example scout. I make uh, I can make it's important. I can set uh, user notes in here, and as you can see, there is orange color for important no uh, reports, and uh, I think it's Alice below blue color for uh, reports which has user notes, and you can limit uh, you can filter only to those those reports which has uh, user notes. Yeah, okay. As you can see, there is two. And there is also a date range uh, which you can limit uh, for those refresh. A date range always, wor always works and it's a uh, range for time. Uh, important, you can see here. And, uh, yeah, only important. Only important uh, will be selected and you can. Uh, as you can see, you can limit it to important, to has user notes, and so on. And is new or, or it's read, uh, etc. Uh, there is a filter by subject. Uh, you can filter, for example, for scouts, reports, scouts only. Uh, yeah, it's a kind of uh, good feature. Uh, you can uh, select more uh, filters uh, as you wish. For example, it's uh, let's say that I want this village uh, to be filtered. And as you can see, attackers village. It's all reports from mine village. It's uh, OBX01 village and all attacks which I made with that village. And only those attacks which uh, are other than green, yeah? because uh, I, I made a lot of attacks. Mm. Okay, uh, so next, this is how you can uh, limit uh, villages. You can put uh, there uh, more than one. And now I have two villages, B, B and D, one of mine. Uh, um, in that way, uh, you can put here nicks of attackers, defenders, as you can see here, uh, and it will uh, filter uh, those results for you. Okay, uh, now what I usually do is this kind of. Uh, I will simply turn it off. As I farm many. Uh, many targets, I simply click here and I see that there is a uh, one light cavalry loose so I simply put here that village and I see that there are two attacks on the village and now I simply click here uh, and I can select uh, that village D3 here and I can send troops to that village, as you can see, barbarian village. 
is that one. You can also go in the standard way, uh, standard way and do it by this, like this, uh, yeah, and so on. But simply I uh, just do it in that way. And we put here 16, uh, 100, and I simply uh, send attack to lower the to lower the wall because of that wall I have to lose it and I do that for most of my villages like this one so as you can see there are more of attacks and more of loses so I make them all read by selecting that in that way mm, and as you can see there are loses so I simply select my village C one and I can use it uh, send troops and this is FC1 and this village so I put here 32 rams and I simply send uh, attack to make that uh, village clear okay this is how I use my reports uh, Another another thing which you can do uh, is to limit your reports to uh, remove actually your reports which you limited uh, to to the filtered one. So I simply will want to remove all reports which are green and which are base 21st and which are from 11 to now as you can see there is a lot of uh, those reports so I simply yes as you can see there is few reports from uh, 22 of my to 23 of my and I simply click uh, remove filtered there is a confirmation and now I can refresh and there is no reports from that range because I remove them I remove I can remove all which I which uh, are listed which are filtered here on all the pages by clicking this 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 function and I can uh, refresh it and there is no reports and I can do for each uh, of that. Uh, I can also select a wider time range and remove them. Uh, uh, now I will show you more information about uh, those report preview. Uh, if you want to click uh, those uh, values are selected at once. Mm. Here you have some basic information about uh, attack. Here you have attacker, defender, uh, scouted information. And here, uh, let's for example, I will show you. I need to find the newest one. Here is uh, some attacks. So you can see, I lose the, my. Um, as you can see, there are scouts and so on. Um, and there is attack, damage by walls. Uh, wall has been damaged. Uh, loyalty was dropped. And that kind of information are listed in here. And uh, I think it's all. It's uh, up to you how you will use it. You can, uh, of course, uh, use that uh, menus villages and if a menu requires a selected village from here like in this case for example to send troops so A1 is selected and uh, if I select A7 and will click send troops it will send troops to this village which is a D3 and the uh, source village is here, A7. A7 and target is D3. 
so it's a standard behavior like uh, on the map okay and that will be all thank you for watching video and uh, wait for our intelligent partner bye